If you've been looking to make more money for your existing business, or if you've been searching for an exciting business opportunity, look no further. We've found the perfect product for you. Introducing the all new Permacoat Spray-On Cartridge System. This revolutionary spray-on liner system delivers the highest quality, 100% solid coatings. Until now, these coatings were only found with high-priced name brand systems. Not anymore. The Permacoat Spray-On Cartridge System is simple, easy to use, and utilizes a low-cost cartridge system that'll save you money. Permacoat is so simple and safe to use, all it takes is three easy steps. Step number one, clean the truck bed. Step number two, sand the truck bed to ensure perfect adhesion. Then, mask the areas that don't need a bed liner. Step number three, spray. Let dry for a few seconds, and that's it. You're ready to enjoy your new truck bed. Make sure you always use gloves and a respirator when applying the Permacoat liner. Today, thousands of truck buyers are using Permacoat to protect their investment. Permacoat cartridge system's 100% solid coatings provide a permanently bonded protective barrier between your truck and the harsh natural environment. Say goodbye to rust, dents, scratches, and corrosion. Permacoat is more than just a friendly product to protect your truck bed. It also gives your equipment a durable, resistant surface capable of withstanding heavy-duty work. Plus, surfaces treated by Permacoat are easy to clean. Each year, over 3 million pickup trucks are sold in North America. Imagine the profits generated by servicing this huge segment of truck owners. With low pressure delivery via your standard air compressor, the trouble-free Permacoat Spray-On Cartridge System utilizes disposable parts, saving you time and money on expensive replacement parts and repair bills. Ideal for repair jobs, restoration projects, truck bed liners, or any other coatings applications imaginable, the Permacoat Spray-On Cartridge System is the perfect add-on to any shop looking to start spraying a real polyurethane product at an affordable price. Hi folks, Jeff Kennedy here, President and CEO of Permacoat Industries. I want to thank you for your interest in Permacoat spray on bed liners. In the following training video, you'll notice we use multiple trucks to be able to show you the proper procedures for applying Permacoat spray on bed liners. Our 100% solids formulation has no VOCs and no solvents in it. And although it is not indestructible, it is our strongest and most durable coating so far rated at 2200 PSI at a sixteenth of an inch. Today I want to go over proper procedures for operating our cartridge system. First thing I want to talk about today is the proper temperature or the proper operating temperature of our cartridges. One part of our chemical is similar to syrup. If it gets too cold it won't spray. If it gets too hot it'll go through the mixed tube like water. So we don't want that happening. The ideal temperature is 85 degrees. You can operate in most cases between 80 to 90, but 85 degrees is our ideal temperature. Now, if you don't have a way to keep them at 85 degrees, Permacoat offers a cartridge warmer. This is it here, and it simply stores 12 cartridges. Now, you can put them in there. It will keep your cartridges at 85 degrees, and just make sure you load the, the warmer back up the night before you leave so that the cartridge itself will become warm throughout the entire thickness of the cartridge. Um, this warmer will keep it at 85 degrees. It has an emergency shut off so that it will not get too hot and melt your plastic. So if you don't have a way to keep your cartridges warm, let us know. We'll uh, be glad to set you up with one of these warmers. Now I want to talk to you about proper setup for your cartridge system. Every cartridge comes with its own mix tube. The mix tube consists of the main body, the retainer nut, and the spray tip. The spray tip simply slides down over the top of the mix tube. Next, you want to remove the cap, the divider plug, tube in your hand, hold it firmly, pull the retainer nut real tight over the flanged area. You want to make sure when you apply this to the cartridge 
that you get a good tight seal. If you end up with a leak in this area, you're gonna have bubbles in your coating. Not hard to fix, just one less step you can eliminate by doing it properly. This is your spray tip. Your spray tip pushes down over the mix tube. It is very important that the spray tip does not go down past the end of the mix tube. It must be flush. Now I want to show you some of the features of our spray gun. You got your air intake where you hook your air hose. You got your atomization valve which gives you your air pressure to your spray tip. You got your adjustable regulator. We'll be setting that at 90 pounds. You have your trigger and then you have your forward and reverse switch. And we'll go over that a little bit more in detail in a few minutes. Um, take your air hose. We want to set our regulator so you'll take your air hose and hook it up and you'll notice that this one's almost already at 90 pounds but to adjust it you pull out on the regulator and you dial it. The next thing you want to do is you want to check your stroke pressure and make sure the gun's operating properly. To do that you'll push your forward reverse button to the forward position and you'll pull the trigger and hold the trigger and you will notice the pistons moving forward. Now to retract it, you push your forward reverse button to the reverse, and you pull and hold the trigger again. Then we know our gun's operating correctly. Now I wanna show you the proper way to load your cartridge and hook it up to the air supply. Take your gun in one hand, cartridge in the other hand. You want to make sure your label is facing down. So while you're spraying, you can see how much material you're using. It's going to be very important that you do not expel every last drop out of this cartridge. Because if you do, you'll end up with a little bit of unmixed material and you'll have to go back and fix that. Take the cartridge, hold it in one hand, make sure the end of the cartridge goes down over the pistons. Then you want to make sure the other end drops into this slot so the cartridge is locked into place. Then you take your atomization line and you hook it to your spray tip. At that point, the only other thing you need to do, hook your air up and you're ready to spray. After the truck's in position, remove the antenna and place it in the cab, fold in the mirrors, and check the tailgate for clearance. Remember, when you're applying the Permacoat spray on liner, you will be adding thickness to the tailgate. So you wanna make sure it's in the clear after the thickness is added and it will still close properly. Remove the tailgate and place it on a padded stand. Remove all tailgate screws and cover panels. Cover panels will be sprayed separately. Remove all bolts and tie downs. Clean all areas to be taped with alcohol or lacquer thinner. On this particular truck, this is an over-the-rail liner. So we will be applying wire trim tape on the outer edge and around by the tailgate opening as well as across the front around the bulkhead. Tape around the tail lights to prevent overspray from coming through the stake pocket hose. If you are doing an under-the-rail liner, tape up the rail using three to four strips of inch and a half masking tape. Apply wire tape to any finished edge area. Use the wire tape on the front bulkhead and around the area of the tailgate that will have the finished edge. Most tailgates will come with a plastic tailgate cap. Apply the wire trim tape on the very edge of the plastic cap facing the area to be sprayed. You are now ready to mask off all areas that will not receive the permacoat liner. Place plastic sheeting over the cab. Fold some of the excess plastic from the cab back over the bed and tape down. Pull off the white plastic strip that is on the wire tape. This will expose a sticky surface that you can then tape to. Using quick mask, apply the tape on the quick mask to the tape on the wire trim and proceed all the way around the truck bed. Using paper or quick mask, mask off the tailgate. Next, take sandpaper and hand sand all the edges